Ikea, Ikea, Ikea. So fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today is so exciting. I am at the Ikea headquarters in Sweden, which is basically like a dream come true. And so I thought I would make this video to take you guys along with me for the next couple days as we tour around this massive campus and show you how the magic of Ikea is created right here in Sweden. So first stop is the Ikea Hotel. Yes, guys, there is such thing as an Ikea hotel. So let's head over there now and get started on this amazing tour. Let's go. So the first stop on our Ikea tour is the Ikea hotel. This is a functioning hotel. It's open all year round. Tourists actually travel to Almholt to see the Ikea headquarters. So you too could stay at the Ikea hotel. And let me tell you, it's such a magical experience to walk through the doors and be like, oh my God, I'm staying at the Ikea hotel. Everything is obviously I Ikea furniture. At the entrance of the hotel, they had this really cool display of the new Sonos lamps. You guys will hear more about some cool products launching from Ikea in a couple weeks on my channel. And this is one of them. That was just super fun and super cool. And it was like the Ikea dudes voice is what it sounded like. Ikea, Ikea, Ikea. So fun. Next up on the tour, we're heading to the Ikea Museum. So guys, we are in the Ikea Museum. And what's really cool about this building is that this was actually the first Ikea store in the world. They have a sweet, sweet gift shop in the back, but let's go check out the museum. Let's go. So they've created a museum. It makes sense that the headquarters are here. This was like the first Ikea store ever in the world. And it is so cool because they document Ikea throughout the years. So the first Ikea store was opened in 1958. And this little sign says that coworkers greeted customers, they showed them around the store, and they offered them interior design tips. It was really cool to see how the store used to run. In the very, very early days of Ikea, you could go in and there would be someone there helping you with a design problem. So it was a very intimate person to person solving problems. And that's kind of what Ikea is all about now on a much, much larger scale. It's taking all of the issues that people have with living in tiny spaces, in large spaces, whatever space, and, and find solutions for those problems. Also in the Ikea Museum is this huge row of Ikea catalogs. So every Ikea catalog I think that's ever been made. Carla and I actually pretended we were on the Ikea cover. There's this little booth. I posted on Instagram and a lot of you guys like thought that we were actually on the cover. And I was like, no, it, it was a joke. <laughs> My dream. There's a living room on the ceiling. So in 1974, Ikea was all about providing really comfortable, kind of like hangout furniture for teenagers. So this would be your typical Ikea room in the 70s. Pretty groovy, lots of yellow. I'm obsessed with that gold line. <laughs> Okay guys, we're at the Ikea gift shop. I think this is the only Ikea gift shop in the world. It's pretty cool. So let's go see what they have, including, including these. <laughs> Look at the mini chairs. <laughs> so if you love a Calyx shelf as much as I do, you can get one in mini form. <laughs> Cutest little watering cans ever. Classic Ikea pieces. Cause everyone needs an Allen key keychain at all times. Oh my gosh, there's so many notebooks, books for kids. I think I need this notebook. It has like all the kind of signature Ikea things on it. Allen key, plant, the bag, the playing chair, the couch. It's like an Ikea super fan notebook. Oh. Okay, so these are like the little kids chairs in like mini, mini form. <laughs> I think I need to buy all the little souvenir furniture and have like a shrine, like an Ikea shrine in my house. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So all of the Danish home and baking inspiration you'd ever need is on this shelf. So this is like the Ikea food section. Chocolate truffles, 
fudge. They have such beautiful homeware stuff here. Hot stands, these are beautiful. This is a collection that's a partnership between IKEA and social entrepreneurs in Thailand. I think it's exclusive to the store, which is really cool. They have beautiful pillowcases, table runner or tablecloth. I'm loving all these felt hot stands. This is very hookah. Okay, so you can also send IKEA themed postcards to all of your friends back home. You have the bag, the couch. Leave it in the comments below if you remember this pillow. Let's go shopping. So this is the official IKEA restaurant. I've actually eaten here before and it's kind of like elevated IKEA food. It's kind of like main course dishes with the meatballs, but with tabbouleh, Korean raw food salad. It's just like your typical IKEA food, like the meatballs and the salmon, but on like elevated main dishes. And it's really good. Behind me, this is actually the IKEA showroom. So this is where all of their new product is on display. I'm so sad because it's closed. They have stuff that they're not ready to release yet, so we can't take a peek, but we can admire from afar. <laughs> so this is basically like your typical IKEA store, except that you can't buy anything because it's not available yet. But guys, like in the last three seconds, I've spied a pink velvet armchair pom-pom velvet cushions and the most gorgeous jute rug there ever was. A couple years ago, I did tour around this part and it's really, really, really cool. But I do have a video that's coming out in a couple weeks where I do highlight some specific products that I'm allowed to share with you guys that are hitting stores this year. Stay tuned for that, you won't wanna miss it. Another cool part of this building is that they have a bakery and they also have like unlimited frozen yogurt and the sparkling Ikea drinks that everyone loves. So I'm told that people who work there can just come and grab a frozen yogurt whenever they want which is super cool. <laughs> so good. The best, best building, in my opinion, is the media building. So this is where all of the IKEA catalogs, all of the photo shoots go down. You know when you look through an IKEA catalog, you think, oh, that's a cute room, and oh, that's a cute bedroom. You think that IKEA has toured around to all these homes to take these photos. It's actually all done in this big warehouse. It's a huge, huge building. So they actually build rooms. Some of them even have roofs on them and they use all of the products to create the final vignettes that you see in the IKEA catalog. They just get the lights just so, so it looks like the sun is streaming in. Um, there's a huge team of people that create these images and it was so, so neat to see this all go down in real life. We then traveled in the same warehouse area to the prop room. So this is where all the prop stylists come to grab all of the IKEA props for their shoots in the main studio. It's basically my dream come true. A massive room just filled with IKEA props. So they update this whenever like new products come out or new lines come out and everything is perfectly organized by room, by product. So there's like a bathroom section with towels. There's a plant section, which is like cool and out of control. If you're a prop stylist and you're let's say propping a kid's room, you would go to the kid's section, you'd get a few toys or bedding or whatever. Just my dream, basically. I wanna work at the IKEA Media headquarters. Something I learned that is really cool and actually makes total sense is that IKEA produces catalogs for every part of the world. My needs for living are totally different than those people who live, you know, in China. So they cater the catalogs to different parts of the world. Let me know in the comments down below what part of the world you guys are from. I know so many of you guys are from all over, which is so cool to me when I look at all the different parts of the world that my viewers are from, like you guys are from everywhere. So let me know in the comments down below how your living situation differs from mine. I would really love to hear from you guys from all over the world. So you guys have seen the IKEA hotel, you've seen the IKEA museum, you've seen where they create the IKEA catalog images. Guys, the tour is over. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and had so much fun seeing behind the scenes of the IKEA headquarters in Sweden. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part was and if you would ever visit Omholt to see the IKEA headquarters for yourself. Okay, I got a plane to catch. We gotta head back to Canada. See you guys next week. Bye.